Hello and welcome to another Raggies Bear Review. So, on the Bear Review channel, if you want to go down that road. And uh, apologies for the eye, an accident the other week. Just in case you watch this and you say, what, what's up with your eye? Fell over, as far as I know at least. Um, so, massive thank you to Neil Baxter, a.k.a. <coughs> Bolton Wanderer, uh, for sending me this down from Scotland. Um massively thankful for this because these are bears that one you don't see in the in, in nottingham at least um bears that i'm super excited to try obviously so this is stout jock um an imperial barrel aged 7.5 percent from broughton brewery based in broughton scotland So here it says, uh, our imperial barrel aged stout is a luxurious harmony of smoky roasted malt and a soft biscuity note, oats rather, with a creamy chocolate finish, especially aged in Speyside whiskey casks, a truly sublime beer. The malts are crystal black, roasted and chocolate. The hops are Fuggles, First Gold and Pearl, brewed in Scotland, UK. Broughtonales.co.uk they make some amazing beers. Got to be honest, they do make some belting beers. So we're going to give this a run. Uh, it is literally, what day is it? What time is it? Just gone nine o'clock at night and I'm doing my first review. Hey, that was told you the date. <clears throat> So here we go. A little bit of smoke come out the, uh, the the initial pour there. Got a lovely sound to it, doesn't it? Hey, Avi Jock's a winner. So there we go, Stout Jock. Um. Lovely black pork and smell the nose from here. Uh, about a centimetre of, of light, shall we say, tan head. Ooh, you can smell the barrel straight away. I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting barrel. Um, the whiskey from the barrel, definitely getting the whiskey. In Nottingham, we've had breweries in, in and around us that are doing a lot of barrel ageing. Uh, Neon Raptor, Black Iris, totally brewed it, but theirs didn't turn out that great, to be fair. Uh, <clears throat> Bang the Elephant, for sure. Alter Ego, you know, so we've got a few that are doing barrel ageing and doing it well as well. Um... Apart from the aforementioned that I said didn't. This was nice enough beers, but the barrel did not work out to, to you know, to accentuate and bring on the flavours. Um, the kings of it, obviously, are Bang the Elephant. They are absolute masters with the old barrel stuff. But obviously, Neon Raptor aren't, lit, aren't, a, aren't a touch behind, you know, only a smidgen behind. On all about locals anyway. You know, they're obviously a lot more than just um, Nottingham and Derby breweries. Smooth, chocolatey on the front. The barrel uh, comes in quite quickly, to be fair. Whoa. Roasted, nutty flavours coming in behind. I always get nuts out of it. I don't know why I get nuts. Just had um, McDonald's as well. So they buggered up an order. So we, we had two meals for free. I get this, free. There's four of us. We've got another two meals and that. And, and it still comes to 23 quid. How expensive is McDonald's these days? Eh? The food's crap. 
It really is. I, I'm not really, I'm not mad keen on McDonald's. KFC any day over McDonald's. The only problem with KFC, they, those two companies knack up your orders all day long. Anyway, back to the day. Stuff them. That is a proper touch of class, that is. 7.5%. Let me just double check that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably all going to need glasses at some stage. But you know, this time of night as well, I'm really, really tired. I had literally two hours sleep last night. Lying there. The wife was breathing heavy and she was snoring. And then by that time, by the time she'd finished... I'm lying there and I'm huffing, I'm puffing, I'm turning over. Um, sometimes I'll come down the shed and have a sneaky beer. Just to, you know, woof and then go up back up the arse. And it just helps me fall asleep quite quickly. But I couldn't do that because uh, I get a bollock in anyway. So I'm trying to be good, you know. Ever since this... Um, I've had to rebuild my, not love of beer, is the wrong word. But you know, obviously I blame myself, but I blame beer for obvious reasons for the falling over. And um, yeah, and there was a moment where I just thought, that, that's it, I'm not doing this. I can't put my family through this and all that. And uh, obviously I've changed my mind since then, you know. But, um, yeah. Don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just tired. <laughs> so it's like a straight up imperial, or near imperial to be fair, because 7.5. Um... Yeah, it's actually, it's funny how, how companies uh, class something as imperial because Montans have obviously got a uh, an imperial stout kit and it's 4.5% and, and it's like, how the bloody hell can you get 4.5% in an imperial? And um, Limestone Brewery, they've got an imperial, that's only 6.5. Now, now, for most people, me included, I was thought Imperial started off about 8 or 8.5. And again, 7.5 is, is actually what you would think quite low for an Imperial. Um, don't get me wrong, it's strong enough. It's tasting strong enough as well. So sometimes uh, the ABV really, even though there's a printed ABV, uh, the way it hits you um, can feel a lot stronger at least initially, than what it's printed on the bottle, or can. Hence why some people can drink absolutely loads and just don't seem to get ever get drunk. And other people, two Imperial Stars, they're on the back. I mean, me, I know I can drink a good a portion, but even so, I still get walloped and I fell at the hurdle quite quickly a couple of times now. And, uh, yeah, sadly that hurdle uh, is one too many for me. And, uh, I think if I'm going to go out, I need to learn to control my drinking. It's not always easy, you know. You, you, it's like anything, isn't it? Yeah, you have a couple of pints and you think, yeah, go on, then let's have another one. And then you have another one and, yeah. And that's how, that's how it happens and it always happens that way to me. Yeah, me, me eyes are bigger than my belly in, 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 a, in a way. Um, I just, when I get a nice beer, I just can't help myself. It's like, oh, this is nice. Let's have another one. And, uh, not many times can I actually stop myself. Um, which is a good thing I've got the wife with me in that respect because 
she, she'll stop me. <laughs> Even so, sometimes she struggles. Um, it is what it is. Can't win them all. Anyway, let's talk about this brewery. Um, make a massive range of different beers. A lot of them with the name Jock in it. Um, Old Jock is the one that comes to mind. Old Jock versus King Goblin. Now, that was a battle. Um, I'll just bring up Broughton Brewery. Yeah, and free UK mainland delivery on all orders. Surely there's got to be a limit with that, because obviously not all orders. Yeah, so you've got wee jock, old jock. One called Hoppo. Hoppo must be a different their range of different beers. Wee jock, shilling ale. Stout Jock, is that this one? Um, Scottish Pale Ale. So yeah, a good range of different beers. Bring out the imp. David's not so bitter. <laughs> Stillman's IPA. So yeah, lots of different beers from them. Established in 1979. Eight years old than, younger than me then. <clears throat> certainly taste that whiskey element you can you can get it on the nose but you can certainly taste it and that's where barrel aging is amazing um, especially when you use different barrels and uh, it just brings out the flavour of the beer. Like I said about the, some of these local breweries near me, some of the stuff they put into barrels, and it's not always an imperial style. So sometimes a quad, uh, like a Belgian quad went in. Uh, Bang the Elephant did that. The Monks of Lawrenceburg. And I'm telling you now, um, absolutely amazing. You know, if you like anything that's got a taste of the barrel in, uh, a lot of companies tend to use like Heaven Hill barrels um, I'm not sure if that's a whiskey or, or a bourbon um, my knowledge in that area I know I know it's called Avenue and uh, it's about as much as I know or can at least remember at this moment this time of the night on a on a on a Tuesday night Tuesday it feels like Friday already uh, and I'm only on a four day week this week but I did over I did work yes I did the garden yesterday Today I've done nearly three hours on the garden and uh, I've got the nettle stings to prove it. My hands are throbbing. Yeah. You've heard of Robin Hood. I'm throbbing Hood. Yeah, which sounds really wrong in some ways. Yeah, let's not go down that road, eh? Yeah, throbbing Hood. What's your name? Out, out on the town for a night, go up to some girls and say, what's your name? Says, I'm throbbing Hood. Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be. He gets some reaction. May not be the reaction that you was actually going for, but yeah, you'd get a reaction nonetheless. Um, yeah, reminds me of that song, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the veils. Yeah, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the veils. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, <clears throat> just the just oh, the ale. Um, just the really bad raggy uh, um, I can't think of the word now so so tired and that tomorrow night I'm doing another three hours after work uh, Thursday literally about two hours it only took me two hours to crack that garden that, so tomorrow's Wednesday yes yeah, so tomorrow Three hours, Thursday, two hours, Friday, I'm off. Yay! But I'm going big. 
beer fetching. I'm fetching mini kegs and bagging boxes for the little beer festival. Um, um, trying to get us, trying to make sure that I've got enough, but I'm not not getting too much. I don't want to be left with opened mini kegs that nobody's had a single drop out of because uh it won't be good i mean i've got the barrels and uh, i've even got the bag is golden which on friday i might try and get into secondary fermentation it's not even secondary fermentated yet fermentated is that even the word fermented and uh yeah <clears throat> it should have cleared by now which is the one reason for leaving it where it is get it into the secondary fermentation bucket with the tap on and you know get some sugar in and uh yeah in this heat in here it will soon secondary ferment um i may well just keep that though Depends how it looks and tastes. I suppose I've got to get it secondary fermented first and I'll know how it looks and tastes. But, um, yeah. Um, I need to start taking these to work this week and uh, beginning of the next week. Tuesday morning onwards. Getting them all to work and uh, getting them to uh, be in the cool or coolish rooms. Probably cooler in here than it is at work sometimes. Uh, so that's on trap. But anyway, <clears throat> back to the beer. So we've let we've let it age now. Uh, we've had a talk about Broughton Brewery, amazing brewery. Um, actually shared one of my beer reviews. Actually shared a beer review about six months after I posted it. But hey ho, um, always good for the share. I love, I do love it when breweries share beer reviews because it's a very kind way of saying that they appreciate the beer review. Uh, which is nice, you know, I mean, I have never said I'm an expert, never, I'm not, or I'm just as somebody who fancied doing it as a hobby, as most YouTubers are generally, you know, uh, I'm not an industry professional, although I think my art's in the right place, but there you go. So, black paw, um, light tan head, on the nose, chocolatey in the barrel. You really do get that space side barrel. And it, that just replicates itself in the taste. 7.5%, um, mm, that nuttiness as well at the back end. 7.5% certainly tastes like it. So be very careful when you drink this, that you don't drink it and knock yourself uh and sleep um but yeah fantastic um would i drink it again oh yes uh it'd be lovely to actually see um brought and maybe do a flavored version so instead of it being like a straight up mp um having like cherries or something with it apricot you know there's lots of different stuff you can put into imperials whether they want to go down that road or not there's another thing um same with the barrels as well, instead of space side, something like an Evernail or even a Glenfiddich or, or something different, you know. Um, I suppose you've got to keep away from branded stuff, which is why they say, why they say space side or Islay, so you're not, you're not putting in a brand. Um, I suppose it depends on the brand. Some brands are okay with that, some may not be. But uh, it's interesting, beer in whiskey and bourbon barrels, because it does bring out some amazing flavour. If you can afford to put it in barrels and let the barrel drink the bloody Imperial while it goes in. Although you should always wet the barrel first so it soaks it soaks that in before it soaks all your beer in. But you've still got to feed the barrel. Uh, I only know this because I've been told. I'm no bloody expert. <clears throat> but yeah, would I drink it again? Hell yes. Out of five, good 4.5 out of five. Uh, and a very nice beer it is as well. And uh, I'm glad there's only one. Two or three of them, whoa, I'd be steaming. And I'm already 
knackered. As always, massive, genuine thank you to Mr. Bolton Wunderer for these. Uh, I'm really going to enjoy these. I've, I've got a box from Low Cost Beer that I'm going to be um, on Thursday doing a live. Uh, if you watch this after today, that won't mean a thing. So ignore that last comment, you know, unless you watch it. But, uh, I'll try and get this beer review out tomorrow. Um, I've got a few beer reviews to catch up on, so I need to make sure I don't go too far, too many days ahead. I like to have one in reserve, just in case I don't do any beer reviews on the day. Um, but that is what it is. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.